It's been a long time coming from the SC Sakalana, baby. Sometimes it feels like the world is against me. Cause I'm coming from SC. From heartache and pain, struggle and strain. Trying to maintain for the SC. So, mama, don't worry. Hey, I'ma make my dreams happen. For a definition of the day, manicure. A cosmetic treatment of the hands involving cutting, shaping, and often painting of the nails, removal of the cuticles, and softening of the skin. Welcome or welcome back to the Nail Genie SC. How are you? I hope you are well and your family is doing well. Do me a favor, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe and like button for me. And let's get into today's video. So guys, in today's video, I am going to be doing a manicure on myself. So I'm going to be showing you guys, uh, this is sped up on a two times speed. Now guys, I want you all to leave in the comment section if you prefer me to leave videos like this in real time or do you like it sped up because you kind of can get the gist of what I'm doing right here. I'm just pushing back the cuticles and that's something that we do throughout every service, right? We want to push back the cuticles so we can get all the dead cuticle tissue off of the uh, nail plate which is actually called pushing back your eponychium area so you can get all the dead cuticle tissue off the plate the, the nail plate cuticle is dead tissue of on the nail plate okay so um, I'm pushing back my eponychium area so I can um, make sure that I am, you know, removing all of that. But anyway, let me know in the comments if you'd rather see videos like this in real time or um, this is fine with you. Um, so I am going to pull out all the bits that I'm going to use um, that I know I'm going to use. I am going to go back in and get another bit uh, later, the buffer bit. But I'm going to pull out the two uh, cuticle bits that help me clean the side walls and um, clean um, the uh, callus around the side walls of the nail. Okay, so I, went, I wanted to uh, put the shield on just to see how the shield operates with the drill. So this is the metal. If you've been on here with me for quite some time, you know that I had hauled this Melody Susie manicure pedicure drill. I purchased it off of Amazon. The link is in that description. Uh, that link is in that description of that video. You'll find it in uh, prep. I think it's going to be in prep. How to prep your nails, or it may be in the haul video. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's in either one, or maybe in both. But on that playlist, you'll find it in either uh, Amazon haul or um, how to prep your nails. Well, this one is going to be in how to prep your nails. So you'll find the actual drill when I hauled it in the haul portion of the playlist. Okay. All right. Now let's get back to this. So I wanted to use um, the shield to go around the cuticles and I wanted to see... Uh, what it does like um, is it keep now the one thing I did find useful with this shield is it does keep the dust from flying up in your face because as you see guys I'm using my Melody Susie dust collector as well 
So now all the dust is actually sucking into the dust collector. I'm not getting those um, particles flying in the air with the shield. So I really, really, really love, love the shield. Um, I did not use it throughout the whole entire service. But I did use it on this part of the service. So I thought, oh, this is pretty neat. Now, I'm just one that if I got to change out the drill bit, uh, I done told you guys on my channel, I do a, I'm a little bit L-A-Z-Y these days. <laughs> so, yeah. So if I when I changed out this drill bit, I just, did, I just failed to pick the shield back up. So just know that. Just know that the shield worked perfectly fine i didn't have any issues with it at all um it did not get in the way of the fingers or nothing like that i just kind of um just failed to pick it back up and put it right onto the drill but i did want to show you guys how this drill function um only because i did have a few of my subscribers ask me can i use this drill on my skin and you can use this drill on your skin. Um, it has different um, pedic uh, It has different bits. So most of the time when we're using um, a drill on our hands, is if we have or forming any type of callus. And you, if you guys know what callus is, it's like a hard portion of the skin where um, the callus is formed because something may be uh, hitting at that part of your skin and it's the nerve endings is saying this is bothering me or this is going to uh, cause a break in the skin and then cause infection so now I'm going to form a callus there to protect you okay so that's kind of I'm just talking like third party callus right <laughs> so anyway I always get a callus on my um, middle no my yeah my middle finger where my middle finger I think it's my middle finger and my ring finger um, because I hold the way I hold my pins you see the way I hold this drill the way I hold things in my hand especially when I'm writing um, it'll form a callus around that area of the skin so that'll be a little bit harder than the rest of my nails and so you can use uh these drill bits on the natural nail these are very uh fine um grit uh, sanding bands they're not i mean drill bits they're not coarse at all they are suited for um a proper manicure a proper pedicure um so yeah you won't cause uh, any kind of um, right and I think I have mine on the lowest speed which is 10,000 RPMs I believe this drill it has three settings so I believe it goes 10 20 30 maybe or maybe 5 10 or 10 15 20 I'm not sure I can't remember when I read the pamphlet I think I said this was a 20,000 RPM but um yeah, I have it on 10,000 RPM while I'm doing this service to myself today. That's what I feel comfortable with. If you feel comfortable going up on a higher speed for yourself, then do whatever you feel comfortable with. But for me, this is what I feel comfortable with. And now I'm going to go in with the mandrel bit. And of course, I am seasoning the mandrel bit because it's a brand new... Uh, uh, I keep saying mandrel. This is the mandrel bit, but this is a sanding band. I am seasoning the sanding band because it's a brand new sanding band. And I'm going to go around my sidewalls and my cuticles so I don't want to cut myself. Of course, the sanding band is not a safety drip, safety bit. So you have to be real careful, guys, to make sure you're seasoning those sanding bands. Um, just take it in, like you saw, run it across the file. Just where you get out any sharp edges that may be on the sanding band so it's not uh gonna nip you or uh, cause any harm around your cuticles and sidewalls so here i'm just doing that um and then you know i'm just pulling up any um dead cuticle left on the, the nail plate and i like to do a manicure on myself every so often um especially because we are content creators 
and we constantly, you know, put nails on, popping them. Well, I know I am. I'm not going to speak for everybody else. But I'm constantly putting nails on, changing my nails out, popping nails off, you know, trying this, trying that. And so my nails kind of take a beating um, doing all of that. So I like to sometimes just have my natural nails, do a nice manicure on my natural nails, let my hands just have a break from um, the enhancements. And you heard me, guys. I said a break. <laughs> now, I've heard a lot of people say, and I'm not talking about nobody, and I'm not messing with you, so please don't be coming for me in the comments. But I've heard a lot of people say, oh, I got to let my nails breathe. Your nails don't breathe, guys. Your nails do not breathe. Okay? So it's better, I know what you're trying to say. It just sounds crazy. <laughs> And I'm going to tell you, I used to say the same thing until I went to school and found out that was incorrect. Just, your nails sometimes do need a break from the enhancements. You know, it does need, you know, your hands just need to be free of anything on the nail or, you know, resting on the nail uh, plate. Um, but the nails do not breathe, okay? Um, so... I, I'm taking a little bit of break with, from the enhancements, letting my natural nails grow out a little bit, get stronger. Um, I am using cuticle oil, putting it on my natural nails and rubbing that all around into my uh, side walls, the hyponychium area, my eponychium area, just so I can nourish the uh, nail plate. Because I will say the, the nails are porous. So you can't, you know, they do soak in a, a liquid. So if you remember, if you've been watching me for a long time, if you remember I had told you guys that um, we were taught when we first started, I first started in nail school, we was doing water manicure, right? And that's what they was teaching us. And then all of a sudden, right before it's time for me to go and do my practical to get my license the board state board here in south carolina changed it and said we can do dry manicures and so my teacher explained my instructor explained to us that the dry manicure was the better way to go because they found a study have found that when you soak the hands in water the natural nail will spread it will like spread and then as the nail dry and it takes an hour for that nail to completely dry right so as the nail dry the nail shrinks and that's when they found there was a lot of issues with people getting a manicure their gel lifting from the nail or chipping or pulling away from the surface of the nail because you know, when we go through the steps and you apply, you're going to, it's not going to, you're not going to have your client waiting a whole hour to wait for their nails to just completely dry out, right? So by the time you've done the service and the client go home or go away or walk out of the salon or whatever the case may be, cut, you know, by the time they get home, their nails are completely dry. And now they're saying, why is my gel pull pulling away from my nails or why is you know why things are pulling up or why is it chipping because now the nails have shrunk there's not enough gel on the nails um because you know <laughs> it's they don't dry it out so we just went to dry manicure so that's what i'm doing here i'm doing a dry manicure um uh, once i um i'm taking this it's a buffer I think this is the buffer one, the buffer bit or whatnot. Buffer sander or buffer or something. I can't remember all the names. Um, it's eight drill bits in this kit. And I can't remember off the top of my head all the names of them right now. But I'm going around my cuticle uh, area and side walls. And I am actually touching and going on my skin to pull off any dead skin off and around my nail plate. So I don't have to use the nippers so i like um this melody susie manicure pedicure drill bit 
it really is if you like to do your own nails and you are a person who like to make sure your natural nails and your natural your feet are done this will be the drill for you personally now i will not use this on my clients this is only for my own personal use because you cannot uh, properly sanitize the bits now i'll for myself i i could sanitize the bits by putting them in alcohol let them soak in alcohol and then you know first go clean them i do wash clean and scrub them with soap and water but then i can put them in alcohol instead of just down in the barbicide because i'm kind of afraid that the barbicide eat away at that plastic white piece that's attached to the drill bit um because that don't that's not removable that don't come off so um, I don't use this on my clients. I only use it for my own personal use. And most of the time, the stuff that, um, when they come out with these um, items such as this, it's really for being able to do your own nails at home. And so, um, most of the time, they're, they're not thinking, okay, well, we're selling this to a professional who do take clients. We're selling this to the consumer who want to learn how to do their own nails at home so diyers so i'll only like using this particular drill on myself and i'm glad i love it it's blue it's my favorite color and it works great now guys i know i kind of rushed this thing i kind of missed some steps I, I i don't know if i told you guys what you wanted to uh know about this drill um, but I can assure you that it's an awesome, amazing um, um, uh, uh, tool to have in your uh, nail area, nail space, in your life. Um, if you are looking to purchase anything from Melody Susie, guys, I do have a code down in the description box below. It's uh, Genie SC12, I believe it is. Hmm. It's down in the description box, guys, and a link. So it'll take you straight to the Melody Susie website, and you can use my code. Save yourself 12% off of any of your purchases. And, yes, guys, I really, 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 really like this uh, manicure bit. So you all will see this again on my channel. I try not to do too many repetitive prep videos because prep is so repetitive. Um, I most of the time do them off-camera. But sometimes I say, well, let me just record because, you know. But I wanted to record this one because I had a lot of you asking questions about this drill. All right, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for the continued support to my channel. I truly appreciate it very much. If you are here and have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube journey as well as my YouTube channel. Guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Follow me over on all of my socials at the Nail Genie SC. And I hope I was able to show you a little something today. I'm sorry that the video was so rushed. And guys, the rest of the week will probably be just music because I am actually today in the dentist's office. <laughs> so. I will see you guys in my next video. You already know what time it is. The deuces are flying in the air. The Nell Genie. She's out.